All right, Dr. Nguyen here. I want to talk to you about this case that involves a large infection and swelling of the patient's face. So here we have a failed root canal on tooth number 32. That is your lower right wisdom tooth. And there's a sign of infection right here. Now the patient comes into our office with a lot of pain. Now here we start to remove the source of infection. The source of infection is this lower right wisdom tooth. That is what we deem to be non-restorable at this point due to the poor prognosis of the root canal. And here pus is actually coming out after we remove the gingival attachment from the tooth. You can actually see purulence or pus coming out and that's the source of infection that's occurring there. Now when an infection occurs, what happens is that infection and that pus will try to travel in the path of least resistance. So that infection is going to spread and start to swell up and travel to wherever it is easiest to spread to. So what we're going to start doing is we're going to start massaging that infection out, trying to remove as much of the swelling as possible and just pushing out all the pus, all the dead bacteria in that area. And then we have to remove the source of infection, which is this tooth here. So after we remove the source of infection, we clean out the area very well and we make sure to leave an open wound. Now the reason why we want to leave an open wound is so if there is any purulence left, that purulence can actually drain out of that site. That's important because we want that area to drain out as much as possible. So here we're massaging the tissue and trying to make sure most of the infection is out. This step is actually quite uncomfortable for most patients, but it's a necessary step we must accomplish. We irrigate and cleanse the area really well. We take a look at the tooth, make sure that we're not missing any pieces. Here we have a four-rooted third molar. And here is our one week post-op. So only one week after the extraction is done, the swelling has gone down considerably. After the third day, went ahead and called the patient after three days or so. And our patient actually stated that they were feeling much better. So we go ahead and irrigate the area and make sure that it's nice and clean and that there's no food impaction occurring. Thank you very much for watching and take care.